this is actually a personal favourite of mine. I've done it for a lot of years, um, and I put like a little story together uh, of doing it. So basically, you've got three coins and shoelaces. What you have, and I always relate it to Harry Houdini, a famous escapologist, where when he used to go to do his shows, he used to go into a um, the local prison or the local jail a uh, week before his show just to get some publicity and what they do is they take him into a room, put him on a chair, blindfold him, tie him up, a guy that stand right next to him, another guy that stand near the door with his hand on the door handle, his other hand on the light switch. Houdini had given the, the word, switch the lights off for 60 seconds, switch the lights back on, and when they switched them back on, Houdini completely vanished, he'd escaped, nobody knew how it done, it got fantastic headlines and everybody came to see him obviously. So we can't do that in a walk, in a walk around situation. You can't do that with something in your pocket, but this you can do. So you've got like a shoelace, which you can have examined, you can have a look at it. Um, and you can give the spectators a 2P coin, which you say that, that could be like a security guard policeman that goes into the room with Houdini, ties him up, handcuffs him, stays right next to him. Um, so this 10P be Houdini. So we've got 10P on the, on the list. And then another guy stands near the door. So this is the guy that stands near the door. So when he stands near the door, obviously, Holding his sandwich between the two of them. There's no way he can escape. And what you do is then you switch the lights up for 60 seconds. And when they switch them back on, you disappear. But you won't, you won't obviously do this in this effect. But what you would do is you give that to the spectator so that they can hold it. Um, and then you would say, right, let's concentrate. I'm going to count to three and cover Houdini briefly. He's going to escape and nobody will know where he's gone. So you count one, two, three. When you have a look, Houdini has actually gone. The spectator can then examine everything that can take them. The two P's off here, the 10 P has actually completely disappeared. All you've got is the, the two two P's and the shoelace. And then you can produce your 10 P from wherever you like. So you could have it out of your pocket. Um, but you know, obviously you don't want to tell anybody here. In fact, what you want to do is you want to keep it under your hat. <laughs> so that's Houdini's coin escape.